George is a big Chelsea fan, wants to come to air uh, to give us his views on that. George, good morning to you. Morning, guys. Great show, as always. Um, Thanks, yeah, George. Gonna, I just want to have my say here, really, about Lampard and Chelsea. Yeah, go for it. Go on. I came on last week. I was the first caller on last week, and I said to you that, you know, after that Leicester game, and I was so frustrated, he had no coaching skills, and he had no manager, man management skills, OK? Now... I believe, like Simon, this came far too early for him. But why would he turn it down? Why would he? Nobody would turn it down. So he took it, and it was too early. I love Lampard, but the time wasn't right. Abramovich has got a, a philosophy of hiring and firing. We're the most decorated club in the past decade, and that comes with him doing what he does. I'm sure if a manager consistently played and delivered, he wouldn't get sacked. OK? Now... The way we were losing and the way we were in games, Lampard had to go. It, it, something had gone on there. He'd lost the dressing room or something, and something wasn't right. And I think something will come along for Lampard, and maybe he has to dip back down into the championship and like get his credentials going again. But what I worry about now is with this guy coming in, Yeah. and this is a big thing, he was sacked at Dortmund. He was sacked at PSG. I'm reading in the Athletic and stuff like that that, that he has a problem with, with the board. He has problem with players. Now, is this really a match made in heaven? You know, coming to Chelsea? You know, what's going to happen here? He'll probably win the title, he'll win a couple of cups, and then he'll be out the door. You know? And I'm hearing as well, he was probably third choice. He was third choice. And I do yeah, believe, yeah, yeah. I do believe, I strongly believe... We did miss out on Pochettino. That's who Chelsea wanted. I read a few years back they wanted Pochettino. When he was at Tottenham, they were sniffing around him. And, like, the thing is, now, he's at PSG, and we've got third choice, and I guarantee this guy will be out the door within the next two years. George, I've got, I, I guarantee you, mate, you've just delivered call of the day if there is such a thing. Well done with that. George, you're, you're a great caller. Your content is brilliant. Simon, you enjoyed that. Yeah, What's your uh, take on all of that? Well, I think it's interesting what he said. I think the, 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 the things I'd contradict him on is if Frank Lampard was in situ for 78 weeks at Chelsea and seven weeks of them were where adversity came knocking, I think he does reasonably, with reasonable expectation, have, a, have, a, have the right to have a fix at it, have a go at trying to fix it. But that's not Chelsea's model. I think, George's point, if they, I don't think they probably will win the Premier League in the next 18 months. Yeah. I don't think looking at where Chelsea are now and looking at what's in front of them, albeit there's a levelling off of the quality in the Premier League right now, that it's, it's assuring that Chelsea will win the league. And also this guy Tuchel, I think that <laughs> Abramovich may in this instance be careful what he wishes for because he's got a guy that's going to walk through the door that's got the hump with a PSG board because they won't <laughs> back him in every single aspect of every single thing he wants. So he's going to be pushing back on Abramovich, saying, I understand the regime that you run, which is basically, I don't get you where you want me to get you in the space that you allocate, I'm gone. By the same rules, I want this and I want it now, and I yeah. want it when I want it, and I want what I want when I want it. So it might be an interesting dynamic, and they might get precisely what they deserve, Wait, Chelsea. Uh, second guess this for me, Simon. He arrives. Now, listen, the information we're getting now is that Thomas Ducal is due to fly to London from Paris at lunchtime today. Yeah. Uh, get this. The plan is uh, that he will take Chelsea's training for the first time this afternoon. Uh, we're also hearing that he's initially bringing in three staff uh, of his own. It's an 18-month contract with a one-year option either side. So Thomas Tuchel is on the way. He'll fly into London at lunchtime and he will hit the ground running straight to Cobham and take training. So, Simon, that is what we know at this stage. But second guess is for me, It's Simon. also interesting, Jim, that the Go timing on. of this, right, because there's two games coming up yeah. that you would have perhaps expected. Wolves are way out of form, bang out of form. And you would expect Chelsea, even in the, the, the light, a light of their poor performances, to have potentially gotten past Wolves. I'm not assuming that you can just walk past Burnley, but again, you'd think that Chelsea would perhaps overcome Burnley in what might be an ugly fixture. All of a sudden, Frank wins those two games, the landscape changes. So it's interesting they take him out now after beating Luton in the Cup having two games on their toes, Tottenham coming after that, that, right. might, have, that might have settled the tenure down. Right. They wanted to get rid of Frank Lampard, I think, by the end of December. And I think the Man City and Leicester uh, performances 
compounded the issue for them. Yes. So it's an interesting one because you look at the. I'm not trying to be Machiavellian, but you look no, at no, the, no, the I, different I, plots I totally going behind it. it. I see what you mean, Simon. These are winnable games. Well, Very you, much. Uh, they you, would have changed the landscape around the narrative of Frank Lampard because when we started to see a real erosion of Lampard in the press, what did you get? Mason Mount, Teacher's Pet. Avram Grant, all of a sudden there's this systematic placing of information in the media that was designed to erode Frank Lampard's luster yeah. in the media. Yeah, I'm, yeah, not yeah. Going, I'm not going on a Lampard loving, I'm just looking at it through a different prism. No, I get, I get what you're saying, I think you're spot on. So Tuchel's in London uh, by lunchtime, he'll take the, the Chelsea training session this afternoon. Simon, second guess this for me, he arrives, he'll already have cracked a deal with Abramovich of, what he, of, yeah. of what's available to him in the, in the last few days of this window. So he's gone until Monday. What do you expect there? Do you think Tuchel has said, right, okay, I take it, but we need X, Y, and Z, and you've got to provide that for me? Um, I think he's got a good playing squad there. I think ultimately some of those players have not hit their hit the ground running. We, we were raving about Ziyech at the beginning of the season. He got injured and hasn't come back the way that we would have anticipated he would have done. Timo Werner has been an unmitigated disaster in certain respects because you don't know what he is. We're now questioning whether he's a left-sided forward or he's a centre-forward. What have they got on their hands? His goal-scoring record says he's a centre-forward. It's, it's up in arms. I think the first person he'll ever walk through the door is have a chat with Thiago, won't he? Because he knows him. Yeah, uh, he'll walk straight through the door and have a chat with him because he was somebody that he fell out with the PSG board over the potential of his contract at PSG. Now, he wasn't sacked from PSG. What happened with him was his contract was coming up at the end of this year. There were six months to go. And yeah. the PSG board thought, I've had quite enough of you and your flapping of the gums. You don't like something. You're constantly putting us behind the eight ball in terms of your opinions. We don't need you around for another six months. Here's the small bit of change that your salary costs us in terms of the comparative wealth we have. Buzz off and annoy someone else. I think that was <laughs> PSG's attitude. Yeah.